this is Lauren with Lauren Watkins Art and today I am back with a review of Rembrandt Pastels. We will specifically be reviewing their mini sets which just came out and I think you will really enjoy them. You can see I kind of broke into them already. I couldn't resist when they first came in. They were just calling me and so I did little swatches on the back of each box. That way I can kind of keep track of which colors go to which box um, before I figure out how I want to store these. So the mini sets consist of five half sticks that come in a gradient from dark to medium to light in a specific color family. Now while I'm discussing what I like and don't like about these pastels and how I use them, I will be swatching all the colors out for you to see. I'll be swatching them on UART sanded paper, which is the vertical beige paper, and on Kansami Tons paper in white and gray. Uh, the Kansami Tons paper is a cotton blend paper with a nice uh, texture on it and is commonly used for pastels. That I'm doing this so you guys can see how the pastels look on different types of paper and different colored backgrounds. That way you can get an idea of how dark they are and how saturated the colors are based off of how you work as a pastel artist. So what did I like about these pastels? I like their nice firm texture. I like that they are a firm pastel without being scratchy. It's not hard to get color payoff from them. It's not hard to lay them down. Um, if you've worked in kids pastels, you know that sometimes they're so hard that you can't hardly get any color to come off. So these laid down really nicely, but are st still quite firm so that you don't have to worry about them breaking easily. They are not going to fill in the tooth of your paper as easily. So they're a lot more forgiving, especially when you're just learning how to use pastels and how to use a soft hand at, to build your layers. I also liked how saturated these sets were. Now it's not a surprise because these are artist grade pastels. But they were nicely saturated without going too heavy on blacks for their darks. The dark green was still a very green color, which I really enjoyed and I really liked the color payoff you got when working with them. The colors are also more light fast and because they are artist grade, they're not dye based, they are pigment based. And so if you make a painting with these, you don't have to worry about your color fading and dulling down as the years go by. Um, with the Mangayo set, a great price, but it is a learning child's grade pastel and so they will fade as you use them or as you have them displayed, I mean. Along with how pigmented they are, um, each set has a nice gradient from dark to light, which makes them way more usable and functional because you can use the pale colors, you can use the medium colors, and you can have nice darks. Often with pastels, it's hard to get good darks. They tend to get too black without any color saturation behind them. And these have a really nice color saturation. So you can see that dark red is still very much a dark red without being too black or muddy. The mini sets also come in a great color range. This color range is really helpful because if you wanted to buy them all, then you would have a really good collection of pastels to work from that you could paint almost anything you wanted with. Or you can look at your own personal collection of pastels and say, oh, I don't have enough warm yellows or I don't have enough turquoises. And you could buy those specific colors in the mini sets to enhance the collection you already have without having to buy individual sticks, which might be more money, and you have to buy one in each gradient color, or without committing and buying a big collection of pastels. Which leads us into one of the most standout aspects of these mini sets, and that is their affordability, um, especially for professional grade pastels. Pastels can be quite expensive, especially as you're building your collection because you need more pastels to work from than you would say with watercolor, which with watercolor you would just need a red, yellow, blue, and you could paint almost anything you wanted. With pastels you need to have a gradient and you need to have multiple color families. 
and that can get really pricey, especially in the professional range. And so these are a really great price point for people that are just starting to build their pastel collection, but don't have tons of money to commit to a big set, or they have some pastels and they just want to enhance the set. Currently, um, on Dick Blick, where I purchased these, each mini set is available for under $6. Um, at the time I'm filming this, they were marked as $5.97, so $5.97, which is a really good price for professional grade artists. And it was actually cheaper for me to buy um, all of the mini sets, um, if you look at the per stick price than it was for me to buy the bigger collections. So what did I not like about these pastels? Not much, honestly. I really enjoyed working with these pastels. There have been other professional brands of pastels that I haven't really enjoyed working with and that kind of just sit in the back of my art cupboard, but I really enjoyed these and I will probably be pulling them out to work with a lot. The only things I would change are more personal preference things, like the shape, I work a lot with Terry Ludwig pastels, and so I'm really used to a rectangular shape pastel, which are just easier to hold on to. It's easier to get big swatches of color um, when you're laying them down on their side, and it's you always have a nice sharp edge to do fine lines and details with. But that's just more of a preference and style um, thing. It doesn't really affect whether I would use these or not because I can. I can make them work. Um, other things, I would I would like it if they had uh, like a more bright orange set um, and then a more of a orangey red set. Um, just because sometimes those are hard, those are gaps in people's collections, which I think would be useful for people to be able to purchase. And along with that, a nice super dark set with some really color saturated darks that. Are, that can be used for shadows and stuff because sometimes it's hard to get really dark darks in pastels. So how would I use these? I found that these really fit into my painting style. Um, I like to do lots of layers. I like to work on sanded paper and these really fit into that, um, especially with their gradient. Um, they blend really well and I can use either blend them with just the sticks like you saw in the pink example or I can blend them with a blender, like right now where I'm using a soft tool, and they blend really softly. And um, the blending would be even better if I wasn't working on such a hard surface. Typically, I work, I attach my paintings to like a foam core board, and that gives a little bit more uh, bend, and it allows me to lay color down a little bit more smoothly. But these blended really nicely, the gradients, um, allowed for really great blending. Since they're nice firm pastels, I could do um, broad strokes of color or I could do fine little lines and have those show up and stand out. Um, I could also, I didn't have too much fallout with pigment. Um, sometimes some pastels I've worked in crumble so much that there's so much pastel dust falling all over the place and getting in your work. Um, that's usually why with pastels you work vertically um, because there can be so much fallout. But I didn't have very much of a problem with this, um, especially once I started working on a foam core board with these pastels. Um, I, I didn't get as much crumbling or fallout. So after I got done swatching my colors and kind of messing around with my paints, I decided to do a full, a full painting with them. Um, this is a, a painting of a reference photo I pulled from Pixabay and I'm just using it quick for a little demonstration. Um, the black ink you see is from Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay ink and I just use that to mark um, the shadows and use as a guide as I'm painting so I don't lose my place or my guidelines that I've drawn. And I'm just working on you are uh, sanded paper in 400 grit for this since that is typically what I work on and my paper is attached to a, a foam core board um, because it gives it has a little bit of give behind it and so it's easier to lay down the color as I work.
I hope you enjoyed this speed painting and this review of Rembrandt Pastels and their mini collections. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to follow along here, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I hope you have a great day. Bye.